Now this man looks danger right in the eye. This first snake is called a monocle cobra, and uh, they're a subspecies of the Indian cobra, which they use for basket charming. And uh, this one here is a big female. He's about five and a half, pushing six foot. You notice the hood on the cobra. All that is is a series of elongated ribs in the upper portion of the neck, and they flatten them out, and they usually have a design on the back of the head, and uh, that's used to scare off predators. These snakes are venomous, so if I am bitten, I will be taking a trip to the hospital. Uh, if I do look nervous, I am. Just recently, there's been a cobra bite, so I'm kind of jumpy about it. Tempting this snake can be extremely dangerous. I'm about to go face to face with a black and white spitting cobra. It's an Asian species of spitting cobra and has accuracy dead in my eyes up to 10 feet, eight, maybe 15. Uh, I'll be probably 8 to 10 inches away from the cobra's face and let him spray me a couple times and get a close-up of the goggles so you can see what the venom looks like. I wear these goggles because the venom, if it gets in my eyes, if uh, it's not washed out very quickly, it could cause permanent blindness in your eyes. This snake is unpredictable and can strike at any time. Eye to eye, they square off in a face-to-face -face confrontation. This spitting cobra shoots a fine, powerful stream of venom in his attacker's eyes. A nice mouthful of venom for me. Got it in my nose, my eyes, my mouth, all over my face. Give me a close-up. See it mainly all over my nose area. Taste it. Doesn't taste that good. That's one good reason not to mess with a spitting cobra. I'm lucky I know what I'm doing.